Imagine for a moment that you're an Italian beef stand in Chicago. Most people in Chicago love a good beef. Hell, most people in and around Chicago have their beef ordered down, so there's no nonsense when they get to the front of the line. Mine is a beef dipped extra hot. Sure, you make a sausage sandwich as well, and a combo with sausage and beef. You probably make fries and sell pop even. But for the most part, you do one thing, and you do it well. Beef sandwiches, and business is booming. Then this time of year rolls around. Lent. There are well over two million Catholics in northeastern Illinois, and though they may not all be observant, enough of them are that you dread those Fridays in Lent when they're abstaining from meat. I guess the rules are different in different places, and they've relaxed from the past when Lent involved more stringent fasting and self-denial. But in the U.S., for Catholics who observe, meatless Fridays are now the norm. You can sell them gravy bread. For some reason, they consider that meatless, though it is bread soaked in the same jus that those delicious thin slices of beef are heated in. But for some crazy reason, some people don't think soggy bread makes for much of a meal. So you've got the French rolls, you've got the fries, you've got the sweet peppers and jardinera. What do you sell on Fridays in Lent? This is the genesis, or so I see it, of the Chicago-style pepper and egg sandwich. It's my understanding that people outside Chicago have similar sandwiches, and good for them. It's tasty and filling and gosh darn it good for you. But I'm talking about Chicago here. Many beef stands will cook up a big batch of scrambled eggs and sweet peppers to have on hand for Lenten Fridays, and they'll serve that mix in the same Toronto French rolls they're using for their beefs. The sturdy bread, the fluffy eggs, the sweet peppers, it's a good combination. They're fine. But the pepper and egg sandwiches I like the best are a little different. The eggs cooked fresh, made into something more like an omelet than a scramble. Tucked into a bread that's crusty on the outside and lighter on the inside like a tomato's baguette. When I make them at home, I like to grate a little Pecorino Romano in there, just to season the eggs a bit. I fold it over a couple of times, the best I can anyway, and then tuck it into the bread. It's a lot, a three egg omelet stuffed into an eight inch section of baguette. But the balance is better when that egg is bursting from the bread, hot and light, with an almost sausage-like snap to that browned omelet skin. The bread's crumbs softened and crust crispened by a few minutes warming in an oven. It's a good enough sandwich that I wonder sometimes why we reserve it for Fridays in Lent. Mm. <laughs>